Blessed James of Strippar, Bishop and Confessor, First Order. James was born in the 14th century of, noble Polish, of a noble Polish family of Strepar and was educated in a Christian manner by his pious parents. To escape the dangers of the world, he entered the poor order of St. Francis when he was a young man. Very soon he became distinguished among his brethren for eminent virtue, rare attainments, and zeal for the salvation of souls. The neighboring realm of Russia presented at that time a wide field for the exercise of his zeal. Partly it was still inhabited by heathens, and where the Catholic Church had flourished for centuries, Greek, schis Greek schismatics had long been endeavoring to win the people from the mother, mother church of Rome. With the consent of his superiors, James went to Russia to preach the gospel to save the faithful from going astray. About 1360, he had a share in the organization of a special group of Franciscan missionaries called so Societas Peregrinatium, or Travelers for Christ, who did excellent work in Russia, Wallachia and Podolia, and in 1401 extended their activities also to the Tartars near the Caspian Sea and other parts of Asia. Father James's missionary efforts were so successful and his apostolic virtues were so pronounced that on the death of Archbishop of Halitz, the Pope named him his successor at the request of the King of Poland in 1392. Only because he was compelled did James accept the dignity. But even as a bishop, he wore the Franciscan habit and as far as possible continued his missionary labors to preserve the Catholics of the old and the newly acquired districts in Christian truth. He built many new churches and convents. His large income was used only for the purpose, only for this purpose and for the support of the poor. To secure God's blessing on the territory entrusted to his spiritual care, he considered nothing more helpful than veneration of the mother of God. Next to God, he placed his confidence in her. Instead of the family coat of arms, he had the image of Mary engraved on his seal. Everything he prescribed for his diocese was to leave the seal of Mary, it was to have the seal of Mary. He had her image also on his pastoral ring. Every, every evening devotions were held in her honor in the cathedral or wherever he chanced to be and he always attended the, the services. He urged the people to attend these devotions as well as special devotions of adoration to the Blessed Sacrament for which he, from which he issued special regulations, for which he issued special regulations and granted indulgences. James was also mindful of the temporal welfare of his flock. In order to check the frequent inroads of the Tartars, who were laying the country waste, he proposed such excellent measures to the Polish parliament that he was quite generally called the protector of the kingdom. After a laborious and blessed episcopate of 19 years, God called him to receive his heavenly reward in the year 1410. Clothed in the habit of the order and wearing the marks of his episcopal dignity, he was entombed in the Franciscan church at Lvov, to which the archbishopric had been transferred from Halitz. When his grave was opened, after 200 years, his body and clothing were found entirely incorrupt. Later, the remains were removed to the, to the cathedral. The continual veneration paid to him was formally approved by Pope Pius XI. Pope Pius VI. on the veneration of Mary. The months of May and October are especially set aside by the Church for the veneration of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We should not, however, limit our veneration to these two months. Like Blessed James, we should venerate her throughout the year and all our life. She was the mother of the primitive Christian Church. The apostles and the first Christians at Jerusalem 
were gathered about her when the Holy, when the Holy Ghost descended. She was the bond which, enri which encircled the first Christian community with mother motherly love when the multitude of believers had but one mind and one soul. Acts 4.32. Blessed James expected veneration of Mary to bring harmony to his diocese as well as the fruits of the Holy Spirit. May those fruits also enter our hearts, our homes, our congregations, and the whole Catholic Church. Is Mary truly honored in your home? Consider how God himself honored Mary. He sent one of the most eminent heavenly spirits, the angel Gabriel, to her, who at God's behest and said to her, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and in the in Holy One who shall be born of you shall be called the Son of God. Luke 1, 28-35. The Holy Trinity thus entered into a most intimate union with her. Since God the Father was with her, the Holy Spirit overshadowed her, and the Son of God was to be born of her. Could he who would not honor her still be called a child of God? Filled with the Holy Spirit, she herself proclaims, From henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Luke 1, 48. Great favors will surely be granted to him who venerates her, whom the Holy Trinity, whom the Blessed Trinity has honored. Consider that Blessed James rightly expected the veneration of Mary to bring special blessings, particularly to his sacred ministry. With Mary's blessing, the apostles set out to preach the gospel, and she continually raised her hands to heaven, both for those who preached the faith and for those who accepted the faith from them. Catholic life flourishes where Mary is honored, and it flourishes the more abundantly the more she is honored. Her maternal protection and powerful intercession will obtain blessings for the shepherd, so that he may guide his sheep in a truly apostolic spirit, and for the flock so that it may lead a Christian life and arrive at the blessed goal. Prayer of the Church. O God, who didst wonderfully renew the apostolic spirit in thy blessed Bishop and Confessor James, we beseech thee, grant us through his intercession that we may ever adhere to thee in faith and in true service. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed James of Strepar.